Welcome to this new Venom Slab Mini. This time I want to show another little Python thing that I just ran into while uh, explaining the third chapter on my DVD. And this thing is that when you're working with hair particles, you are just first a particle, system, hair type, and when you're working with particles, when you want to make hair, you don't usually do s uh, use this number for the total amount of particles because it will be really, really slow. And if you want to edit, editing a high number of, of actual patent particles is, is a pain. So what usually you do is have a certain amount of particles and then use uh, strands and then use children's. So children means that for every uh, parent particle, you're going to have a certain amount of children. For example, uh, what we see here is actually 10,000 particles because we have 1,000 parents and 10 children displayed for every parent. And we are going to render 100,000 um, particles because it's for everyone, we're going to render 100. So if you render this, you're going to see the result, but if you don't render it, you want to know how many particles you're going to, to have. So I thought of, hey, this could be easy. I mean, it's just a multiplying. And this could be easy to add in the interface. So let's do this. Right click, edit source. We already seen it in the previous chapter. This way, uh, it says C properties particle.py. And let's do that. Properties particle.py. We have here a uh, column prop display, this one called prop render child count render. Okay, so we have access to this information. We also have access to the emission, I believe, particle settings dot count. Yes, we have that. So this is particle settings dot count. This is particle settings dot render child count. So, um, Render child count comes from part. Let's see what part is. Part is is defined up here, like particle get settings. Awesome. So they both come from the same place. So we could just do, for example, uh, let's say the total is equal to is count. So let's do part dot count. Multiply it because for every parent particle we are going to have a certain amount of children. Let's multiply this by the render amount, which is render, we can just right click, copy data path, and then control B to paste. So we have uh, our total amount would be the count multiplied by the render child count. Awesome. Now we just need to make a new label. Since we are in a column here, let's just make it there, call so it, it ana aligns nicely with this column. Dot label, yeah, I want to sh show a little label only. And here let's, uh, of course, use total. And let's see if this works. Let's save, text, save, and then F8 to reload. And it doesn't work, why? Let's check the terminal. It doesn't work because it says, let's do it again. It says, uh, label function ex uh, text expected a string type, not an integer. Okay, it's, it's expecting a string, not a number. So let's just convert it to a string. And Python have this nice str to, to convert to a string. So what you do is just convert to a string, brackets, and then that. It's exactly the same. Let's do save and reload again, F8. And now it works. So if we change the amount of particles, then it updates automatically here. Awesome. And if we render, for example, F12, we can see that the amount of strands is 36,300, and it's exactly the same number we have here. Awesome. In just, how much was it? It was like two lines, total, and then call, out, call um, label. Uh, let's make it nicer. Let's say for example let's put it inside a text field so let's say total particles 
let's say equal that string and the string space and we are going to do that so we are going to replace this with this with total let's see if it works text save or alt s and then f8 and now we have it nice much nicer and if we render it's exactly the same number yes awesome uh, just another little thing since this is only two lines of code let's make it three lines of code why because we want to show it just for as an example we want to show it only when strat render is enabled so how do we do this let's see what python says about it it says particle settings we already have that use the strand primitive so let's tell um let's tell blender that i want this let's uh if part dot let's right click copy data path if this then do the do this thing and since python cares a lot about indenting otherwise it wouldn't work let's indent that so if use strand primitive is active then show the the label alt s to save f8 and it disappeared and when i enable strands it appears up here awesome so this is how you can have your uh, total amount of particles displayed in the 3D view without having to re-render every time so you know um, how many particles you can handle. And that's it. So I hope you like it. Ciao.